My name's Harold Lowe. Uh, if you don't mind if I sit down, I really can't think of my face. I'm from Oklahoma. I graduated top of my class. My baby sister and I was homeschooled. She actually graduated two years before me. She was always Mama's favorite. Well, every time I get held back, Mama would give me a hug and tell me how special I was. When I, when I was in my late 20s, I found out what special meant. Crap, I'm retarded. So then, I had spent the rest of my life trying to figure out if I'm mildly retarded or severely retarded. <laughs> well, I, I came up with when I married my first wife, I was severely retarded. When I divorced her, I was mildly retarded. When I married my second wife, I was severely retarded, and according to her, I have never been mildly retarded. <laughs> now, when I start to bomb here in a minute, I'm going to do a magic trick. Is that okay? <laughs> my memory ain't very good. My wife told me to quit telling people that I had brain surgery five or six times. So, all the scars on my head from my wife. And, okay. I'm going to bomb. So let me show you this magic trick. You have to trust me. Before I left the house, I put all my uh, all my jokes in my head, in my memory. I want to snap my fingers, and they're going to be in my pocket. You ready? Oh crap! I hope I didn't leave them at the house. Here they are. I got them. Blah. Anyway. My memory, my short term memory is gone. So I, I, I gotta have a cheat sheet. Uh, I'd like to thank Chris for letting me come up here tonight. I'd like to thank you for letting me come up here tonight. It's actually my second time. The first time I was in the shower before I left the house that obsessive compulsive disorder I have. <clears throat> Let me ask, did anybody ever have sex with a teacher in high school? Nobody, really? Not my mom. No. No, no. My mom had a parent teacher conference with my dad that day and he took my baby sister to town because she wasn't spelling me for she got us training. I had a, I had a substitute teacher, my cousin Billy. My family my family back home wanted me to go to Nashville and sing. I said, no, I'm going to go out here to work with my wife. I don't really think they care about me. I'm going to go and sing there. When I left Oklahoma, I could give the entire state went up 10 points. When I got to Oregon, the entire state of Oregon's IQ went up 10 points. That gave me an idea. I'm going to travel around the United States, and I'm going to hit every single state. Now, I don't want to stay too long. I don't want to bump them up too high. I got to say it's jealous. But... I got 32 more states to go. I got Oregon and Oklahoma out of the way. That's that Oklahoma education I got. 11 of them, I got to take a boat. Go on the north side of the Mississippi River. I can't, I can't swim. I've been married for over 22 years. It took me two wives and a couple of girlfriends. Speaking of which, uh, do you know why divorce costs so much? But it's worth it. <laughs> my first wife, uh, she got the house, and it was really nice. I, I had it fixed up pretty nice. It was a trailer house, of course. But good, good news is uh, I'm not white trailer trash anymore. But I had that. Uh, I took all the rims and I painted them chrome. You know that chrome paint, spray paint you get from Walmart, and and you don't need to have the nice rooms, you can't see them. So I took the underskirting off on both sides, that way you can see them. And the money I saved on not having to buy a dog house or build one, it gave dogs and cats a place to stay. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. I'm a slow reader also. My second wife, when we got married, we moved into a house there in town and uh, she got, she pissed in and moaning about my first wife got this in the divorce, my, single, my, my, first, my first wife got that in the divorce, and on and on and on. I said, look, I'll tell you what, you keep the house, keep everything in it, you keep your car, I'm going to take my coat, what I got on, and I'm going to get my truck and leave. 
and you can have the house and all. She said, but it's a rent house. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got out of the divorce. Smarter. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, hold on, hold on. The over sewer company called me today. They told me they were sick of my shit. <laughs> they asked me when I started doing this. I can't, not to use a C word. So I went back on my old kind of education and uh, I think of what Mama would call me. So I just changed the C to K. Cat. K A T. Y'all know the difference between cat and toilet paper? What? Toilet paper you use it once and flush it. A cat will clean itself and you use it over and over and over. <laughs> now, now our cat, now our cat was named Who. And Who with a chocolate sign means. Well, one day, old Who was sitting up on the kitchen counter next to the stove eating the bacon grease out of the skillet. Don't worry, it wasn't, it wasn't on, hot or nothing. Yeah. It does that in between meals. Uh, my buddy came in and started petting old Who. He said, well, who's this cat? Oh, did I mention his name too? Well, anyway, Who, I told him, who knows? I kind of screwed that up. <laughs> my, uh, when I first came out here to Oregon, you know, you got to realize I just had some surgery a long year ago. And uh, my wife told me it's a law in Springfield that you got to pick up the dog crap and walk the dogs. So for two weeks, I was picking up this dog crap, carrying it home, and putting it in the trash can. And, and one day, uh, like a 10 or 12 year old kid said, Hey, you know, they make doggy bags to pick that stuff up so you won't get all your hands. Anyway, I went home, told my wife about it. She said, I thought you knew that. It was there in the kitchen. <laughs> She loves me. That's for I got me. I got me one of those DVDs on training dogs. And man, it, it is amazing what, what my dogs learned and so quick. And I've been trying to teach my wife for years. And I thought, well, maybe I could use the same logic with my wife. So uh, I went in there and uh, she was bitching at me. And so I went in the kitchen and got some of them uh, little, little Debbie cakes. And we went in there and gave her one. She kind of fought down for a little bit. Well, after about a week, I walk in the door, and she starts in at me. I just throw the whole box of little Debbie cakes to her, and it gives me 30 minutes of peace and quiet. Speaking of peace and quiet, it's invisible. You can't see it. But I have, to, I have figured out a way to know when it is not around, when my wife is. I think I'm a professional. I was telling my wife, some jokes the other day at the house, and she paid me ten dollars to shut up. <laughs> so tonight I'm performing totally free, type of purposes. Since I've been hitting big time, uh, I charged me a bus, dollar fifty to get me down here, and dollar fifty going to get me back home. <laughs> I can ride all day for three dollars. I was uh, when, when my wife was uh, separated. I was back home by myself, and I had to learn how to take care of the house and everything. So, what I did, the trash got piled up because my wife wasn't there to tell me to carry it out. So, that brought in the mice, and well, it, the cat got fed. Well, I let the dog in, clean up the cat box, but well, it I was taking care of it. Now, I had to remember to flush the toilet. So, we got three and drink the water. Now, speaking of flushing the toilet, do you all know the north is uphill and the south is downhill? Anybody know that? Okay. You ever look on the map? North is always at the top, it's up, down, south, bottom. Okay, you don't buy that. Uh, the Mississippi River runs from the north to the south. Water runs downhill. So when I'm back home in Oklahoma, I flush the toilet when I'm watering the dogs so people in Texas can have drinking water. When you all here, now think about this, when you all here, you flush the toilet so people in California have drinking water. There's not any, as many people up here as there is in California, that's why they have water rationing. Uh, let's see. Hold on, I'm getting there. I ain't got no light yet. Well, I'm, I'm house-sitting, and uh, I'm suing the uh, Skylight Company. You know, I, I went and put a couple on the roof, put the skylight in, and I went down there and looked in the living room, it didn't work. It was daytime. I know what y'all thinking. Well, 
I went and looked in the instructions. It didn't say nothing about a two-story house. <laughs> anyway, I'm sitting to, uh, I got to go. This is my time. Thank you, y'all. I sure appreciate it. Keep it going as we bring the next performer to the stage, Max Brockman. Let's hear you.